I bid you all good morning, good evening, and good night, wherever you may be watching this transmission. It is I, Mike Martins. Thanks for joining me, guys. And thanks for being part of the channel. Okay, guys, um, just a quick plug here. If you can, go to last night's Mike in the Night. It was really good. We got a lot of callers. Three-hour show. We had callers from all over the world, and it was fantastic, giving their points of views on current events. Okay, guys, so what's going on, guys? Well, gold. I'm watching the markets right now. It's Sunday. Uh, it's the 26th of uh july yeah uh, 26th of july we're past halfway through the year i know i know i know i said gold will hit 1900 before december uh the end of the year in 2020 and I, I don't like to like you know what i mean you guys know over the years you've been watching me i don't like to really put it up there too much with anything because i don't want to overly extend myself right uh when it comes to uh predicting prices or where they're going to go but right now gold is is going up it's at last time i checked i think it was at 1926 we're going to get the exact numbers right now it is sunday still so the markets just closed in australia in asia and that's what i've been following today here on sunday monday you're going to see it plastered all over okay so here it is guys there's no doubt that the velocity of the velocity of money has fallen so now before I, I jump in, I want to talk about the velocity of money. Before I even go to the velocity of money, somebody emailed and said, Mike, what the heck, man? Uh, you know, uh, I had a lot of stocks in junior miners and gold stocks uh, during the Kobe outbreak and all, you know, the Kobe, uh, when Kobe was released and my stocks, if anything, went down. Me too. I had a lot of gold miners, junior, gold junior miners, big gold miners, big silver miners, uh, small silver miners, uh, all kinds of uh, gold, precious metal stocks. And a lot of them went down. The only the only reason why I made during COVID was because I shorted uh, Nexon Mobile and a couple uh, one airline, and I shorted a couple of other companies that really took a big hit. But that's the only reason why I did well during COVID was because I shorted. But I had gold and silver as the hedge. But I lost money in gold and silver, and all my stocks went down. And uh, uh, it, it was very very upsetting, right? So you would think that when you have a good economy, the price of gold goes down. When you have a bad economy or an unhealthy economy, you would think that the price of gold uh, will go up and skyrocket, right? Well, we had an unhealthy economy and man, my stocks, my gold, gold didn't really move, started to trickle up slowly and then started to make a little bit of moves. Today, it made one of the biggest moves it, it has in a long time. So one reason why uh, is money velocity, right? And... This is, uh, I'm just looking here. Hold on. Let me just open this for you guys to see. Here you go. Right there. This is what I'm looking at. There's no doubt that the velocity of money has fallen. In fact, as you can see from the chart below, it has plunged. Part of the reason that velocity has fallen is that many of us have been sheltering in place and therefore had fewer opportunities to spend than previously. So we're not out about spending like we used to because we're sheltered in place, but we're also reticent to spend because we're worried about the future. So uh, we're not spending as much as we should because we're worried about if something happens and we're saving for a rainy day, right? Whether we'll have a job, whether uh, a crashing stock market will sabotage our retirements and so on. So people are kind of holding tight to what they got, right? So while there is more money sloshing around the economy, we're, we're less likely to spend it. Therefore, it shouldn't be particularly surprising that the additional stimulus hasn't translated into higher inflation expectations and gold prices. So you would think the pumping all the money, pumping all this money since January into the into the uh, economy, you would honestly wholeheartedly think that gold would skyrocket. And that's what I did. I had my money in gold. I shorted oil. I shorted an airline, uh, an airline stock and a couple of other stocks I shorted that did very well. Or a, or a put, whatever you want to call it, right? But so here it is. Today's news. Gold prices make history, hits all-time high. Analysis still looking for more, right? So it's broken through the $1,900 mark right now. Um, I remember the on the show, the Raven was saying that basically uh, silver is going to break 20 bucks. Listen, he said this last week, and silver broke 20 bucks this past week, right? And editors know with, with so much market uh, volatility... Stay up on top. The daily news. Get caught up. Okay, that's just uh, our, this is just uh, Kitco guys. Check them out. Kitco, Kitco, Kitco news. The juggernaut. 
That is the gold market remains unstoppable. It started the week hitting an all-time high against the U.S. dollar. The gold market made its historic move Sunday evening during the Asian trading session. First spot gold hit its all-time high above 1920. Wow, that's a huge move. I would have never predicted. Like, again, go back to the beginning of this, this video, how I basically said, well, all the stimulus, all this, all that, uh, an ailing, weak economy, you would think gold would go up. Like, literally overnight, it didn't, right? And then August futures quickly followed suit. August gold uh, last uh, traded at $1,922.70 an ounce, up 1% on the day. So there it is, guys. Although the record has been significant target for analysis and investors, it is also seen by some as just a small speed bump within a much bigger uptrend. So they're looking at a bigger increase, right? In recent interview with Gitco News, Mark uh, Challenger, chief market strategist, uh, Gold, Global Forex, said that he expects that gold prices could easily hit $2,000 an ounce before this current rally is over it's difficult to talk about uh resistance it never before seen prices but if our view of interest rates and the turn of the dollar cycle is fair then two thousand five hundred dollars might not seem unreasonable he said in a report sunday reiterating the current bullish stance so now what happens now well, well let's get back to basics guys the price of gold goes up let's say twenty five hundred bucks we're not going to argue this let's say he's right Okay, he's right, 2,500 bucks. What does this mean? Well, it's gonna cost a lot more money to buy gold. You're gonna have to pay 2,500 US dollars to buy an ounce of gold now. Well, what's the point of buying it, Mike? Uh, well, the point of buying it is because now you're hedging against inflationatory levels. Now, just that paragraph I read right there just gives it away that the price of gold is 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 going up and that the, the, the currency is starting to lose see weakness, right? Now, okay, how could the currency see some sort of a rebound or some sort of a kickback? Or how do you see the currency revive? Or how do you see gold go back down? There's only one thing on the table. I think, personally, in my opinion, that could reverse this is, one, they, op they reopen the economy tomorrow. Everybody gets their jobs back. And everybody gets back on the treadmills and everything, uh, basically, they try to bring it back to normal as much as possible. And something ironic happened, guys. After gold hit this all-time high, I'm getting all these articles from Canada, like in, in Canada. Oh, you know, cases down, no deaths. Oh, COVID looking good. Looks like we're, we're, our second wave is almost over. I'm like, whoa, whoa. I thought we were just starting the second. What the heck is going on here? What are they trying to push? I think they've played with fire too long, so they're going to have to reopen the economy as quick as possible. That's just my opinion. Or are they going to keep pushing the economy downwards and until the election, right? Okay, so that's that's what we got to look out for. So let's go back to article scan. Here it is right here. Gold at 1929, up 2860. Silver, uh, 2397, up a dollar a dollar 26 today. Uh, the raven on that comes on the show was 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 right. He, he stated that uh, silver will break $20 last week, and it did. Platinum, $932, up 23. And palladium uh, at uh, 2,186, up 26. Wow, it looks like gold could surpass palladium. Ho, ho, ho! It could, because um, the, 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 uh, the um, uses, that, uh, the, what it's actually used for when it comes to... Okay, let's look at... Uh, Oh, I wanted to see the Australian markets here. Okay, there's the Nikkei right there. Here it is. The Nikkei is down 79, sitting at 22,000. Uh, over in Europe, the FTSE is down 87. We're not getting the... Uh, they're not even showing us here. I wanted to see what was happening, but that's okay. Bloomberg stocks traded mixed, and gold rose to a record high as investors weighed uh, simmering Sino-American tensions. Oh, oh. We're going into hot war, folks. Signs that the uh, the virus spread in the U.S. may be slowing. See? They added that all in one paragraph. The dollar extended uh, its recent slide to the lowest since March 2019. Japanese shares fell, catching up to two-day slide in global equities when Tokyo was closed for holiday last week. 
Taiwan semi, uh, Semiconductor Manufacturing Company surged 10%, leading shares in Taipei toward a record high. Stocks in Seoul edged higher, while equities in China, Hong Kong, and Australia were flat. Futures on the S&P and European contracts ticked up after last week's declines. Spot gold surged to an all-time high of 1922 per ounce. So it's going to cost a lot more money to buy an ounce of gold, folks. Uh, here it is, bonds. The year 10-year Treasury uh, remained at 0.59%. Australia's 10-year bond yield rose about 3 basis point to 090 Commodities. West Texas Intermediate Crude fell 0.3% to 41.17 a barrel. Gold was at $1,922.78 an ounce, uh, up 1.1%. I bought a ton of oil when I bought a ton of oil when I was watching uh, the markets. Uh, and, it, and and I made a video before oil crashed. I said it was going to go into negative rates. I'm making a video just like I, this video on this Sunday. I predicted that oil was going to go into negative rates, uh, uh, negative uh, negative territory uh, before Monday hit, and I was I was right. I left the video up for you guys to watch. It's always going to be there because that that's one of my big calls that I made, and I put my money where my mouth was. I did short quite a bit of oil when I started seeing the patterns, and not only that, guys. I also rebought the oil two weeks, a week and a half later after that big drop. I bought a ton of oil and a lot of it's sitting green right now. And then a week after that or two weeks after that, I bought a ton of airline stock. And that's most of it sitting green except I think it's American Airlines or Air Transat. There's one airline that's down of, of all the airlines I bought. So there it is right there. Uh, gold prices. Here it is, guys. Live gold price right here. And I kind of want to throw that up. So let's let's re, uh, revisit the, the right here. The Fed can't print gold, says Bank of America. This is from over three, four months ago. And gold is heading to $3,000. Bank of America says that the, the Fed can't print gold. And it says something here about Max Kaiser. I think he said that on his show. So here it is. Uh, black market gold buying over spot. This is from four months ago where people were buying gold over spot. Is another video I did. Uh, Chinese buy Canadian gold mine. This is from seven months ago. Canada sold one of its biggest gold mines to China. Uh, paper gold ETFs uh, ra uh, ranking in billions. Here's the problem, guys. Um, uh, people are coming in with paper and, and all over international major banks and saying, I want my physical gold. And they're not, people are, are not getting it. How much gold and silver should I stack? I did that a year ago. Germany wants its gold, part 739. There I am here with Evan, the McChronicle, gold, oil, Russia, and China. Uh, silver might see a gain on global in late 2019. Uh, gold could reach 1690 by 2020. Wow. Wow. Man, talk about like um, throwing things out there and being, you know. Gold and silver break away seven months ago. This this was this was in December. Gold and silver stacking and worldwide collapse. Gold prices power seven-year high six months ago. So there's a lot of stuff here, guys. Uh, if you guys ever want to go to the channel and check up things. Guys, if you can, if you're bored or you got a little bit of time, um, you might want to go to this. Uh, you might want to go to this. Go ahead and check out uh, Trends in the Housing. Uh, sorry, Mike in the Night from last night is way back here. They always... Here it is. Mike in the Night all along. I was never in doubt. We got... I was being watched so many good callers in and he did i th people have just ignored it the media have just pretended they've been terrified because 13 people died yesterday i mean it's just crazy the whole you might want to check this out guys from london from england who was in auckland in new zealand mm -hmm. uh, i'm on hers everything she said i agree with everything i don't follow that that's the raven but you were saying uh Hey, someone in the room made a comment earlier. I don't know what his name was. Cameron. Passport. My favorite is, and I've been, I've been. I... Twenty dollars. Are they going to let it cost that much? Are they going to let it run past that this week? Because if they do, they did it on purpose, and that means it benefits them for some reason. Or they could, they could. So he's talking about gold. Are they going to allow gold to pass 1900? And this was on Saturday's show. It has passed 1900. So now what is the reason? The Raven wants to know. What is the reason for sell it? Sell it down. But I think it was Anthony that said they're limiting the uh, future contracts. Yes. So maybe they're tight. They're, I, 
if they're limiting their future contracts, then that 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 uh, that clips their ability to uh, play with the numbers, right? How much fraudulent papers out there? How much? So, but but if they, I don't know, they're running into a lot of trouble in the Comex. So, if they can't, I, it's just I want to see. Are they going to let it crack nineteen twenty? Because that's a psychological move right there. A rising gold price exposes a worthless currency. That currency is they, they've weaponized it. Mm-hmm. You know, with their sanctions, all the ask Layla. She- there you go, guys. That's the Raven last night, and there it is. It's pro broke nineteen twenty. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Where is gold headed? Where do you are you invested in gold? Do you have some gold? I have like some gold junior miners that I still have that I've had for a while, and I've been like kind of scraping the profits off the top. I might be scraping a bit more profits off tomorrow morning. Come tomorrow morning. And guys, please uh, subscribe to the channel. Less than 20% of the people that do watch these transmissions are subscribed to the channel. So if you don't mind subscribing and sharing some or resharing or sharing some of my stuff out there, I I really, really appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, I look forward to reading your comments below.